hello, and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the Ark Society mission set on the Isle of Scale. And today we will be taking care of the Working Up an Appetite Challenge, which entails poisoning Sophia Watson up in the Ark Lounge. So for this one we will be bringing with us some lethal poison, our ever trusty lockpick, and a silenced pistol. So, right from the start, off the back, off the bat even, what we're going to do is make our way to the gatehouse, which is the bit just above the main entrance there. So we're going to run up the path to the main entrance, up the drain pipe around the side, and approach the building ahead of us once we get to the top of the drain pipe, plug ourselves up by the wall, open the door, pull out our silenced pistol, and we're just going to wait for the guard who is blocking our view of the surveillance system to move away. And when he does, we can take out all of the cameras in one foul swoop. So he's moving away now. So we're just going to line up our shot, take out the cameras, and make our way back down the drain pipe and into the main entrance. So what we're going to do from here is head to the chapel area and we are going to take out Zoe Washington uh, using the Phoenix Effigy. So we're going to make our way right through past the Phoenix Effigy into the chapel area. We're going to grab the wrench from the side there, double back on ourselves and through the broken window at the end of the corridor and around to our left at the end of the corridor we're going to open the door, throw our wrench on the floor and that's going to attract the guard who's in the effigy machinery room area and when he comes to investigate we can then render him unconscious and we can take his outfit. So just as he's approaching the door start smashing that uh, subdue button we're going to drag him away from the door a little way that'll do. We're going to take his outfit we're going to retrieve our wrench and we're going to pick up the key that the guard has dropped and his weapon and make our way into the machine room area. Hello? We're just going to wait yes, for this lady hello? to finish her you phone call. You are on my list of contacts as a safety advisor. I would like to file a complaint about the locking mechanism for the trap door on the Phoenix effigy. Yeah, this thing is basically a death trap in my opinion. Call me back when you get this message. So once this young lady has finished her conversation, she will have her back to us and we can then sabotage the machinery. And then we're gonna head to the back of the room and out the broken window and along to our right where we will find a drain pipe up to the Phoenix effigy itself. And once up here, we're gonna hang a left and make our way back into the chapel using the key we've collected we can get through the door at the end here and into the chapel itself and around to our left we want to crouch down and we're just going to plug ourselves up by one of these tables here where there is a coin and we're going to wait out this conversation so what we're going to do here is once the conversation finishes the warehouse worker will say break a leg he will turn round and at that point all three of these people will they have their backs it, to Fennigan. us. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? Lord, what have I done? How did I let her talk me into this? Should I tell Miss Washington that you won't be going on stage? But everyone's waiting for you. God, no. No, she frightens me. Just, uh, just, just give me a moment to control my nerves. All right, Mr. Penninger. Regular. So once the worker has said break a leg and turned his back, we're going to wait for the master of ceremonies to do his head turn, because he's got a head like an owl on him and he pretty much turns and looks right behind him. But once he does, we can then walk forwards, knock out the guard, the MC and the worker, and we're going to tidy up all of their bodies as quickly as we can as well. Make sure we collect the guard's gun, we're going to collect the key that the MC drops as well. We don't want to be leaving any evidence lying around in this room. 
basically because Zoe Washington will come through this room. So once we've got everybody nicely tucked up, we are going to take the MC's outfit and we're going to make our way back down towards the Phoenix Effigy and we are going to start the Phoenix Effigy Ceremony. And basically when we do and we ignite the Phoenix Effigy, we will kill Zoe Washington. So, down the stairs, approach the pit of money, pick up the torch, and begin the ceremony. A handsome pledge, and yet, a drop in the ocean. So what we're going to do now, we just have to wait for Zoe Washington to get into position. And when she does, we will be given a prompt to start the actual ceremony. Zoe Washington. The Ark Society recognizes you as our Founder's rightful successor. Our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. So we're just going to make our way back up to the top of the stairs here, ready to ignite the effigy. Our Founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars, or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the Elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes, and all comes tumbling down. When mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition. We will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers, and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud. Be fearless. For the future is ours to shape. Look at you, Feniger. All dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. So Zoe's going to go into the effigy and give fire. us the signal. And we are going to set her on fire. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes, not just to survive, but to live. So now Zoe can't get out of the effigy, and the flames will take hold, and that will be our non-target target taken care of. One target down. Nice work, Ferguson. Next up, Sophia Washington. So, once Zoe has been taken care of, we're going to make our way back into the chapel where we picked up the MC's outfit. And we are going to retrieve the warehouse worker's outfit. And we're going to make our way up to the roof of the warehouse where we can obtain ourselves. Jebediah Blocks outfit, one of the Ark Founders. So we're just going to jump through the window at the back of the room. Be aware there are a couple of enforcers around here you'll have to avoid. And we're just going to run straight down the side of the warehouse, which is between the, the little alleyway between the warehouse and the castle. And at the back of the alleyway we will find a drain pipe. And we're going to climb up that drain pipe to the first floor. And we are going to scoot along the ledge past a couple of these windows here and past the second window we will find another drain pipe and we are going to ascend that drain pipe all the way up to the roof now up here we will find Jebediah block and three mercenary guards and eventually at some point the constant will come along as well so what we're going to do here is use the generator switch it off and then switch it on again that will distract one of the guards when he comes to investigate we can knock him unconscious grab his gun grab his body and hide him just against the wall there and then we're going to rinse and repeat for a second guard and he will come over and investigate and we can do the exact same thing so once he's in position jump on him from behind render him unconscious grab his gun hide his body around the corner here we're going to take one of their outfits as well just because the worker, the worker outfit is trespassing up here 
and we're just going to position ourselves behind this old wooden door makeshift desk because the constant has just arrived so we're going to have to let this little conversation play out Mr. Block you look troubled I know you don't I you're James I'm a friend of the Ark Society yes if I may be so bold I heard about your predicament and well I believe I may offer a fresh perspective why not shoot all right Say the world does collapse, the weather goes haywire, the poles melt, and the Ark Society heads off to a comfortable Arctic sanctuary, while the rest of civilization falls into chaos. That's about the gist of it. Sounds great to me. No more needy assholes. Why wait? Well, you do realize what kind of place it'll be, right? What are you talking about? A hundred or so people? No market? No economy, no social structures. It will be like a space colony. Everyone equal and dependent on each other. It will be egalitarian, sir. It will be, well, communist. My God, that's what I paid almost two billion for? Why didn't anyone tell me sooner? Merely food for thought, Mr. Block. Good night. Hi. So once their you? conversation has finished, the constant will leave, and we can continue on with our challenge. So what we're gonna do now is sneak up behind Jebediah Block and knock him out, and knock out the final guard looking out to sea. And again, we're going to take their guns and everything that they drop and hide their bodies behind the wall here. So once we've got Jebediah Block, make sure you grab his key as well. Although I have no idea what it unlocks. And we're going to take Mr. Block's outfit. And we're going to make our way into the Architect's Lounge, which is across the warehouse roof and across through this little annex down the corridor here through the door at the end and we are in the architect's lounge and we're going to run straight to the door opposite us and on our right we will find a fuse box on the wall so we're going to turn off that fuse box and then turn it back on again and that's going to get the attention of one of the serving staff on the architect's lounge. That's one of the servers with the crest of feathers. So when they come to investigate, we can then render them unconscious and their outfit will come in a little bit uh, useful later on. So we're just gonna let that door close before we sneak up behind him, pounce on him, render him unconscious. We'll grab the key that he drops as well. We're just going to move his body away from the door. Just over by these boxes here will be adequate enough. And we'll come back for him a little bit later on. So all that's left for us to do now basically is find Sophia Watson, or Washington. And she is currently downstairs. She's practically directly below me. And she is making her way up to this floor. So we are going to intercept her at the top of the stairs. So we're just going to wait at the top of the stairs here and she will make her way up to us. And we're going to go ahead and engage her in conversation, attend the ARC Founders meeting, and we are going to vote against Sophia's motion. Miss Washington, after due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense and manners. Come along, then. I'll call a vote at once. So we're going to now follow Sophia up to the next floor. Except we're not going to follow her because she walks too slowly. So we're going to make our way there ahead of her, even though we're only just at walking speed. And in this room on the floor above, we will find two more of the Ark Founders, which puts three in one room. There are five in total. Friends and Founders, the recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with the vote. 
So the three of us with Sophia and the Constant will now make our way up to the meeting room on the next floor up. And in here we will find a circle of chairs. We're going to locate our chair, take a seat, wait for everyone else to arrive. And when they do, the meeting will begin and we will be asked to vote. And remember, we're voting no. Let's reiterate. For decades, you, the titans of the energy industry, have conspired to obscure the truth about climate change through lobbying, misinformation, and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful, but all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die, ladies and gentlemen. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Yay or nay, Block. Silence is consent. So I pause for dramatic effect and say nay. nay. Excuse me? You heard me. Nay. Oh, for the love of... Ah, oh, idiot. Son of a... Blocked. You stupid... Oh. That's... Four eyes and one nay. Jebediah Block vetoes the motion. This council is adjourned until further notice. Block. A word? Upstairs. Right away, please. So, once we voted against Sophia, she is going to invite us up to the penthouse, where we will have another dialogue section. It's quite dialogue heavy, this one. So, this is basically the same as we did for the uh, Iron Maiden challenge, where we have to drop her in the Iron Maiden. And also, if you want to take care of the Tis Butter Scratch Challenge, drop a save right here. So, are you gonna tell me what the hell you're playing at? Just looking out for number one. Don't be an idiot. There's no future in coal, Block. You have one choice. Go green or go extinct. Now, personally, I don't give a shit if you go the way of the Dodo, but you are one of the Ark Society's biggest contributors. We'd hate to lose your business. Besides, if terrestrial cold goes under, who will pay for your children's survival? Your grandkids. After all, nobody says disaster will strike in our lifetime. You have a moral duty to stay rich, Block. Nice try, but I don't have grandchildren. You just had to make this difficult, didn't you? So basically, she's going to go Here's over and reveal some lethal Not information to us. We serve a group of powerful individuals who prefer to stay anonymous. Letting the climate go to hell in a handbasket has served their interests well, but only up to a point. You see, they are sitting on some patents that'll knock your socks off. Weather control systems, recycling pollution as fuel, cold fusion, you name it. And they plan to make trillions, protecting the world from the very threat they worked so hard to create. But to do so, they need you guys to quite literally stop fighting windmills. Huh. The truth at last. And what's in it for Jebediah Block? Gentlemen, please give me and Mr. Block a moment. So once Sophia has dismissed all of her guards, it will be just us to remain in and like I said if you wanted to at this point you, you can put on the suit of armor and kill Sophia hand. with a broadsword the for the Tis Butter Scratch Challenge but we are going for the Working Up an Appetite Challenge so we're just gonna let Sophia waffle on until she dismisses us I see you have until dawn to change your position and pass this motion, and you and I, 
We never had this talk. So once Sophia has finished talking to us, we can now make our way back downstairs to the Ark Members Lounge, or the Ark Society Lounge, or the Hyperborea area, whatever you want to call it. And we can then retrieve our server's outfit, which is right where we left it, just out on the balcony here. So once we've got the outfit on, we can make our way back inside and we are going to tend the bar. So just straight through to the bar in front of us, and we will get a prompt to serve the food. And all we're going to do now is poison a sample of the food and wait for Sophia. Now this can take a little while and it's also highly possible she may not go in the same direction. Now usually, usually she would walk straight past and Pardon downstairs me. and we'd have Can to wait I for her to come back. Treat? But for the purposes of this video, luckily she turned right at the foot of the stairs and we were able to Spirit. secure her I could use much it, pick quicker. Me up. So once we've offered her some food, she will approach the, the bar and she will sample the poisoned food and promptly drop down dead. As you can see, I have made my way back to the balcony here because we're going to want another change of disguise. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now to confront the constant. So once Sophia has dropped down dead, we're going to move along the balcony, put on Jebediah Block's outfit once more, because there are almost no enforcers to this outfit. And we are going to make our way all the way down the stairs and out past the funeral area, and down the rickety old wooden staircase and out towards the keep. Now we are trespassing in this final little area, so you have to navigate your way past the three guards. But there you go, that is the Working Up an Appetite Challenge. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.